Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Ronsley and this is an episode of Amplify AI. Today I'm going to talk about ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. But I thought, what's the point in just talking about that separately in its features? What if I made it something useful that you could use as a business owner that is online? What if you could never have to worry about how to create your next landing page for your next product or your next service or your next anything? What if I could help you do that and show you the process that I just went through myself to do it? And here's the thing. If you know the process, the structure and the prompts, you can do it yourself. That's the power of AI. Come, let's learn. Okay, so the part of today's session, like I said at the start, is about using ChatGPT 4.0 Canvas. And a lot of this will be me using it for the first time. So see how I use it and see how I maybe overcome or don't overcome certain obstacles that come in the way while I'm going through my workflow. But today the idea is how to build a landing page for your product or service. And what has happened is that a lot of us have as artists, we create these great things that we want to put out into the world, but there is no menu card. There is no landing page. There is no product page. There's no brochure. There's no place to send people to. And you know, it's like one of the biggest problems that all artists have is not having a, a like a little menu, a little thing that you can send someone to if, say if they want to work with you. So I'm going to remove all those obstacles today and we're going to talk about the process. So like what would you do? Like if you were to create a new landing page, how would you go about it? I'm going to talk about how I did mine. I'm going to show you some stuff. I'm going to show you how I did mine exactly and what was the version one and then the version two with feedback. But I'm going to go through the prompt, the structure, how to create a prompt, how to get the first draft, and then how to refine it with feedback, all using AI and all using ChatGPT 4.0 Canvas. But you know what? The problem with this whole situation is even though I want to talk about ChatGPT 4.0 Canvas, I've used a lot of my examples will be in Claude projects. So artifacts and some of the refinements because it seems like it is my go-to. However, I want to try ChatGPT Canvas today and see how we go. Come, let's learn. Hey, it's Ronsley. Welcome, you AI geek, to Amplify AI. Let's just start with what the end product is, right? And it, this is the end product. And you can go, if you want, you want to stop the video, go to amplifyais.com slash academy. You can see what we landed up with. However, I'm going to go through this at the end so that I'll show you what it was like to start with. And if you were doing something similar, what would you do? So I want to give credit in some places. Firstly, I had to start from somewhere. So here is some of the things that you can do to start your research. I'm going to show you this. This is Perplexity AI. And one of the things that I actually, you know, shout out to Harry. He's my video guy. And Harry, thank you for all the things that you do. But one of the suggestions that Harry gave me was, why don't you make videos on particular tools? And primarily the reason for that is, I'm tool agnostic, so I don't really care about one or two tools in particular. So you'll see me using a lot of tools. However, we will go into using ChatGPT Canvas in a second. So here's some of my research that I did about a couple of months ago to create a landing page for my new book. And a lot of the things here I'm doing myself primarily because so that I can show you how it can be done. And I can do that. I could do that in Academy. And that's why Amplify Academy is like, is awesome. Anyway, so please take your time to research uh, on book landing pages, the page that authors direct audience to on the web for the book they write. I want a single page design. Please look for best practices. Once you're done with your research, please create me a wireframe in some manner to give me a template for the book landing page. This is, we're still doing literature review at this point, okay, on what is the best structure for the book, the page, the landing page. So in this particular instance, see, it gave me a wireframe. Now these are really valuable, okay? So here's the header, the hero section, the author bio. So now I have a structure into what I can build and also I can direct AI, and I got this from AI as well. So it gave me a very, very good, decent single page option. So those were some of the things that I did in terms of research, something that you can do as well. But I was given some directions from my friends at Vayner. <laughs> that sounds like a flex, but I am so grateful that I have friends there. But I got some of their in-house stuff and how they set stuff up and how they do 
their product design. One of the team members directed me, Rima, shout out, to Erin On Demand, and I've used this as a starting point. So I went, okay, after all my research, I thought that, okay, this page is the starting point that I was gonna use, because if I started on a page using AI, it would be a lot of text, and I wanted to have a page that was not a lot of text, okay? So I started with Erin On Demand. Now, let's start here and say, okay, well, if I already know that this is my structure, let me just change this and see. Of product landing pages, the page that entrepreneurs direct the audience on the web for their main program. I want a single page design, look for best practices. Once you're done, give me a wireframe in the best way to give me a template for a product landing page. My product is an annual coaching, training, and tools program. Maybe I'd start there. So I'm just trying to think of mine as an example, and this is gonna be easier, obviously, with you, but have a look and see how I've crafted this. Now, I've done this in perplexity to get a wireframe, to get an idea of what is the structure. So this is how I would do it. And you know, there are a whole bunch of different ways to do it, but this is my way of doing it. And if you have no method of doing it, then at least you have one now. And um, here is the wireframe, which is insanely awesome, right? So this is the wireframe. So I'm gonna show you how I would do this firstly. So. For a canvas, so I'm gonna click on that. If you go to ChatGPT and you have to be a plus user, you go to ChatGPT 4.0 with canvas and you start from this space here. Now, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna just select all, literally select all. So Control A or Command A, depending on which platform you're on. And I'm gonna copy that. Before I get there, I'm just gonna first start with GPT-40. And here's really useful information, right? You can change models through your workflow. So actually I'm gonna start with 40 Mini. Okay, please read and understand this product landing page. Let me know when you understand the different sections, how the copy is written and framed. Replicate it with no, if that makes sense. So we're starting with ChatGPT 4.0 Mini. And the reason we're starting with this first is because we're going, okay, we don't need to run out of credit. See what it did first, it kind of like, broke it down, it took just a copy and paste, now you have a section of your landing page. Now, what I'm gonna do here while we're here is I'm gonna change this into Canvas, okay, in the middle of the session. And this is some amplified context that I use a lot, so who my audience is, why I care about them and love them, <laughs> that's all of you. I'm gonna just copy that, and in that context is, so I'm gonna say, can you please take this context understand it and use it to create my product landing page. Think for me, be my assistant. So let's see how we go. If this gets it straight away, it's gonna be insane. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. So you see what it's done, right? It's kind of created a whole landing page and it's made it based on this template. So not everyone's built for this, but it's reverse engineered that. Say for example, at this bottom, I can go, can you please write a set of FAQs here? It's interesting. So it actually does that whole part again, which is fine. And then it comes, oh yeah, good. So see how the canvas is just so insanely awesome. So, so here, right? So how, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna say, can you restructure, structure, just, uh, 
Yeah. So that's a little bit better. So you see how in Canvas you can change a few things here and there. Hey, AI Geek. Thanks for listening. Your job doesn't stop here. I want you to lend your voice to the conversation. So you can join those conversations, discussions, new trainings, new recordings, and the rest of the AI Geeks by going to aigeeks.co. Also, share this podcast with a friend, another potential AI geek. Until then, much love. <laughs>